Clearance of a Thrombotic Occlusion. This procedure can be found on the LPCH internet page titled Vascular Access under Tunneled Central Venous Catheter Maintenance and Management. As a reminder, in order to maintain patency, all central venous catheters must be heparin locked when not in use. The only exception to this rule is if your patient has a 1.9 French. In that case, they have a continuous infusion of a very low dose of heparin to prevent occlusions. All central venous catheters should flush easily and have brisk blood return. If you experience a sluggish catheter during flushing or have difficulty with drawing blood, assess for proper tip placement and rule out any mechanical obstructions such as kinks in the tubing. If you have ruled out any mechanical problems with the catheter, then contact the healthcare provider and anticipate an order for a thrombolytic. The dosing guidelines are as follows. For patients less than 30 kg, the dose is 110% of the catheter priming volume to a maximum dose of 2 milliliters. For patients equal to or greater than 30 kg, the dose is 2 milliliters. Priming volumes for all catheters can be found under Appendix A within the policy title Vascular Access, Tunnel Venous Catheters Maintenance and Management. The TPA dose may be repeated times one. If you are able to infuse through the catheter but cannot withdraw blood, or if the catheter is sluggish, you may use the one syringe technique. Clean the junction between the cap and the catheter. Remove the needleless connector. Attach the syringe with TPA directly to the hub. Do not force the TPA into the catheter. If you are having any difficulty, stop and follow the stopcock technique instructions. Discuss the procedure with the family. Clean the work surface with hospital approved antiseptic and perform hand hygiene. Don mask and sterile gloves. Set up your sterile supplies on your field. After assessing that the patient does need a dose of Altaplace to prevent occlusion, you would check with the doctor's order and use two patient identifiers to make sure you have the correct drug and dose according to safety administration guidelines. Clamp the catheter and clean the end of your needless connector with alcohol. Connect the three-way stopcock directly to the catheter. Slowly attempt to withdraw. If you see that you cannot withdraw anything out of the catheter, maintain pressure as you pull back on the syringe. Turn your stopcock toward your empty syringe and allow the Altaplace to infuse directly into the catheter. Once the TPA is instilled, reclamp the catheter, remove the stopcock, and aseptically replace the needleless connector. Apply a label to indicate that no one should use the catheter for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, return to the patient's bedside, remove the old label, scrub the hub, connect a 10 milliliter syringe, and attempt to draw for blood. If you get an excellent blood return, go ahead and remove the TPN syringe, Attach a normal saline syringe and flush completely. Instill the heparin, three milliliters, 10 units per milliliter. If you were unsuccessful with getting blood return, you would repeat the entire process and allow the TPA to sit into the catheter for 90 minutes. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. 